Hello friends, accept my warm welcome in your YouTube channel, in which many questions are answered with simplest processes to follow, and best alternatives to the professional solutions. In this video, we will look into some essential methods to find out the storage space available and occupied in the SharePoint online site. It is one of the primary applications that consume maximum space in Microsoft 365 subscription plan and its sites are versatile enough to handle bigger pages, and their libraries can contain numerous documents. To check the site size of entire SharePoint online collection and individual site storage, you can use SharePoint Admin Center from your Microsoft 365 account. First, log in to Microsoft 365 as an administrator and open Admin Wizard. In the list of Admin Wizard, choose SharePoint and click on it to open. In SharePoint Admin Center, there are all the information related to sites, list, and libraries. When you click on Active Sites, then the page will present you the complete storage availability for complete site collections. It will also show that how much space the sites have consumed. To check the size of a single site, you should select a site from the list and when you click on it, then its properties will open. Cancel the properties and double-click on the URL of selected site. Let the site open and go to the Site Contents option in the menu. Under Site Contents, click on Site Settings and it will open all the settings available for site. Here, click on Storage Metrics. The site collection will show that which component is occupying how much storage. It will show their size and the percentage of maximum storage space. On top right hand side, it will show the available free space too. To keep the site at optimum level, you can change the storage limits to a lower level. Go back to SharePoint Admin Center and click on Settings option. Click on Site Storage Limits and change the setting to Manual Level. Click Save. Now, click on Active Sites and choose a site. Its related settings will come up automatically. Click on Storage. When the size of site is presented, then you can change to a lower level. Click Save. The site will be updated quickly. Moreover, if you require any migration assistance, then Kernel Migrator for SharePoint software will migrate large sites and their pages to another account's SharePoint sites easily. If you have changed the storage limit of your site, then the site will move along with its set storage limit. Thanks for watching our video tutorial and I am sure that you will find it extremely useful for managing your SharePoint sites greatly. You can get the complete information related to the software from its webpage too. Have a nice day.